Here on my screen on the left, I have my HTML document and on the right is the live browser preview. I've added font variations from Google Fonts. To make this easier to understand, I made a figure which demonstrates how we are going to achieve this effect. To make this effect, we are going to create layered elements. The red one will be our container. Inside the container will be the image background, which is the green. And the red one is the content. Now, let's create the markup. The red figure is the section with a class of wrapper. Next, the green figure which is the image. So add a div with a class of image bg. Finally, add the blue one which is the content element. Let's add some dummy content. For the wrapper style, add a minimum height of 500 pix pixels. Add a border just to see its dimension that class should be wrapper and not section wrapper so let's change that for the image background element add a background image It didn't appear yet since we did not define the width and height. Because the image background element will be at the back of the content, so let's add a position absolute CSS and width and height. As you notice, the content is not appearing anymore, but it's just at the back of the background. Let's make it appear at the top, like the blue element from the figure I showed earlier. First, let's remove the body's default margin. Also, position the background to the top and left. For the blue element, which is the content, add a position absolute, a maximum width, I'm adding a top, left, right, bottom, zero, and margin auto to make sure that this div element is on the center of our wrapper, the red figure. We need the absolute positioned image and content element to respect our wrapper. As you remember, we have set a minimum height to the wrapper, but the content and image element goes beyond it. What we can do is to add a relative position CSS to the parent element which is the wrapper. Now it does not go beyond the wrapper div. I'm going to add some style to our text elements. I'll add flex CSS to center the text content inside our blue content element. Now that center, let's add a blur effect to our image background. Notice the edges have some little bit of white lines. We can remove this by resizing the image through scaling. Add a transform scale, then 1.1. You can increase the value. For this example, I think this looks good. Another problem, the bottom edges look so blurry. To fix this, add a overflow hidden to the wrapper red element. 
I'll add some quick styling to the subtext. Finally, to add a transparent or low opacity background to the content, add a background image property. Also add some padding. Inside the linear gradient function, the first value will be the angle. For this one, let's just add a 90 degree, comma, then the first color stop at 0%, then the second one at 100. I've added the red color as a placeholder. We can change it later by defining it using the Chrome Developers Tools. To access it, right-click on the Document Preview and hit Inspect. On the Elements tab, find the Div element to which we added the background. From here, you can click on the color box and choose the different color. For this example, I've selected a color from its background image. I'm going to use the RGBA variation of the color rather than the hex value. Now, we can move down the opacity by dragging the second slider to the left. For this example, let's go with 40% opacity or 0.4. And for the second step color, change the color and opacity to 0.5 or 50%. Let's select the style and copy it to our CSS and save it. 